I will magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. I will magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and the blood of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, that the Lord of my salvation be exalted. I will magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. I will magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Well, welcome and praise the Lord. We are on the third episode of uh, Songs of Praise and the third episode is on Shout of for Joy. And as we are shouting for joy, we are shouting in praise. That is the best way we can express our joy as we shout in praise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 71 verses 23 from New American Standard Bible. And before we read it, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we are grateful that you have called us to make a joyful shout to you, O Lord, and to sing out of the honor for your name. We are supposed to make your praises glorious. We are grateful, Lord, that you are awesome and your works are awesome too. Thank you for your greatness and your power. Thank you because, O oh Lord, your enemies submit unto you. We are grateful that, Father, as we bless you, O oh God, your people, King of glory, as they raise their voices unto you in shout of praise and adoration to your name, as they make uh, their praises known unto you, O oh God. We thank you because they'll be accepted, because it's a sacrifice that is offered at your table, at your altar. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise and worship you and magnify thee. For it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now, in Psalm 71, verses 23, um, my lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you. And my soul, which you have redeemed. Oh, my goodness. You know everything. That is my lips and my soul. They will also, because my soul has been redeemed of the Lord. That means if you've been redeemed of the Lord, you need to open your lips and let those lips, when they open, they are singing praises unto the Lord. Can your every morning be started with a praise? Can as you're closing the day, as you're getting ready to get to bed, can you praise the Lord? Praise before you pray. Hallelujah. And you know, when you praise, what happens? It enables you even to pray. It enables you to get deep revelation as to what you need to pray for. Because when the praises go up, when the praises go up, your glory comes down. You know, when the praises go up, the glory of the Lord comes down. And you, when the glory of the Lord comes down, it enables you to know what to pray for because you are a because the glory of the Lord will come so that you know God's will. And as you are praying God's will, as you are praying with understanding on what God wants you to pray for, it becomes enjoyable. It becomes it. Prayer does not become just a, I mean, it's not a work. It's not work, you know. It becomes work when you don't have an opportunity to praise. So I'm asking you, can you learn to praise the Lord before prayer? Learn to praise the Lord before you read the word because you are going to get ah, a deep revelation. And you know the best thing to do it? You, you praise and you can even shout in praise and that is why it's good to have a place of prayer. Because when you have a place of prayer where you know it is just you and God, you can praise him. Let the praises go to him. And you know what? Even as you are praising the Lord, other people will hear. And let me tell you, people don't get offended when we praise the Lord. People would want to join you. Remember when Paul and Silas were in prison they, as, they, as they praised? Do you know what happens? The, the, the gates 
were, were opened and even the other the other ones the other people i believe that everyone that was there in jail they heard them and as they they were praising they i believe they joined them that is why there was a shaking of the and uh, the shaking uh, in the in those jail in the jail and um, all the doors were opened and they were free to go and the the jailer was able to be saved so that is what happens as we praise the Lord. There is something that is going to happen in the atmosphere. There is something that is going to take place around you. You are going to see gates of gates that have been locked, uh, opened. The shackles that have been uh, on people's lives, they are going to fall down, and people will be loosed also to praise the Lord and depend on the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Then, as we continue with the word of God, in Psalms 5, 5 11, verse 11, uh, that is from New American Standard Bible. But rejoice all who take refuge in you. Huh? Sing for joy forever, and may you, shel may you shelter them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Wow, you know, as we are rejoicing, ah, we, those, as we are, because, you know, our refuge is in the Lord. He's a rock of our salvation. We can hide in him. You know, he's a rock that raises us up, that we can stand on it to be above the powers of darkness that will try to bring us down. And it is also the rock that covers us. Imagine you are covered and you also stand on the rock. What an amazing picture. What an amazing thing that the Lord does to us. So when he is our refuge, let us sing with for joy. Let us rejoice. And as we are singing for joy, we are not only singing once, just that time when we realize, yes, we are safe and secure. When others are in danger and they're in trouble, yes, you realize you are safe. You are protected. I will never forget the, the, um, when I was learning how to drive. And um, this, this was among the first times when I was driving by myself. I just, I mean, somebody just honked. And uh, that one scared me. And I, 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 was, I got out of, the, out of the way, out of the road. And, um, and uh, you know what? I realized that this vehicle is going to roll. And if the vehicle rolls, it's going to go down the steep. I mean, the, I mean, there was some, I mean, there was, uh, it, it was going to go very far down. But uh, you know what? I shouted and I said, I praise you, my Lord Jesus. And I know you are protecting me. You are my refuge. I praise you, my Lord. And you know what? The vehicle was able to land and was able to be protected by a pillar that i was not able the pillar was not able it did not break the vehicle but it was able to stop the vehicle from rolling it just made the vehicle to be stable so what i'm saying is that you are going to praise the lord always and you know even as this uh, as the uh, that um that accident was taking place i was praising the lord because i have a tendency of praising the lord when i'm driving i enjoy praising the lord and it is, I mean, it gives me joy. It gives me confidence when I'm praising. And uh, that is why now when this person honked, yes, um, he got me off the road. But uh, the good thing is because I was in them in praise. I praised even louder. I shouted in praise. And uh, because the Lord is our refuge and he was able to shelter me from what the enemy wanted to do because I know the enemy was not there to, I mean, he was not playing. He was there to destroy. But yeah, I thank God that, you know what, the Lord is there to take care of us uh, always. And that is why we need to sing in praises always because you are praising the Lord because of who he is. We are praising him because he will remain to be God forever, mighty and powerful. He will remain to be our protector. He will be our help he always, not only that time when you're in need, but always he'll be there to help you. In Psalms 32 verses 11, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous one, and shout for joy all you who are upright in heart aha uh -huh. if you are upright in heart aha uh -huh. let me ask you are you upright maybe you don't know but i want to i want you to be aware 
of God being upright in the presence of God. If you arrive upright, then you know what? And you know you are upright by faith. Believe that your sins have been forgiven and you are standing right before God. You are righteous in the eyes of the Lord if you are born again. And if you know there is sin that is dwelling in you, that is causing you to walk in guilt, I am here to ask you, just ask the Lord forgive you. He is ready to forgive you. He is ready to reconcile you uh, unto him so that you can worship him and worship him in spirit and in truth. And therefore, if you know you are righteous before, you are one of the righteous ones, then you need to shout for joy. You need to shout for joy and you need to be glad in the Lord as you continue to rejoice in him. And then in Psalms 132 verse 9, may your priest be clothed with righteousness and may your godly ones sing for joy. You know, when you're joyful, you're going to shout. If you're clothed in righteousness, you uh, let me tell you, if you are born again, you know that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Then you know what? The garment you need to wear is a priestly garment because we have been called, all of us have been called into priesthood to serve the Lord. We are chosen, we are chosen, uh, we are a royal priesthood. And therefore, because we are royal priesthood, we are supposed to be clothed with righteousness. And the clothing, that is our garments are righteousness. So when we have the garments of righteousness, you are going to be ignited into praise. And as you get into praise, let me tell you, oh my goodness, great things are going to happen because you are not just going to sing quietly or in whisper. You are going to shout and sing for joy. Wonderful. Oh, glory to Jesus. And then Psalms um, 130, uh, Psalms 132, verse 16, uh, verse 16. I, will, I will also close our priest to salvation. Mm -hmm. One, the priest have been clothed to righteousness, and then I will also clothe her priest with salvation, and her godly ones will sing aloud for joy. Yes, we are going to shout for joy. Are you a priest in the kingdom of God? Are you clothed with salvation? If your garment of salvation is on, then can you arise, you godly ones, and shout aloud for joy. Shout aloud with songs of praise and let the Lord continue to be glorified in your life because he's the king of kings and he is there. You know what? He wants us to be glad in him. He wants us to take refuge in him. He wants us to be upright in heart. And the only way to boast is to boast in the Lord. And when you are boasting, the best way to boast is to praise the Lord. Shout for joy. Because, you know, you believe and trust in this King of Kings who is mighty. And therefore, you are boasting in him. You allow him to do that which he has decided to do through you. Let others see so that they can desire to honor the King of Kings and also shout for joy as they join you in praise and worship. May the Lord bless you as you continue and purpose to choose to shout for joy. Uh, this is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki of Amazing Grace, International Ministries and Abundant Glory, International Ministries. This is Mother to the Amazing Champions, and I ask you to partner with them, and Mother to the CMCs around the globe, that is the church minister's children around the globe, please partner with them too, and uh, you can partner with us through the, our website, the www.agracem.org, and uh, please um, use the or whatever means that is given unto you there on our website to partner with this work. Send your support and God is going to bless you. At the same time, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Our Facebook is uh, Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace and uh, YouTube is Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. Like, subscribe and also share. Let's hear your comments about when you shout for joy. Why don't you just uh, in your comments write the song the, the 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 praise song that really excites you and you know what we are one of these days gonna sing all those songs together so please just let me hear the songs of praise that god has put in your heart so that we can also join you in praising the lord and shouting for joy god bless you as you purpose to shout for joy throughout the day and throughout the week throughout the month and throughout the year 
every minute every second every hour let's praise uh, the lord hallelujah and god bless you i look forward to be with you again in the fourth episode it's powerful be blessed for now shalom shalom